Hi Taurus, welcome to your past, present, future April readings. We're going to do two cards for past, two cards for present, two cards for future in April, love. We'll put some clarifiers down and we'll do some Moonology cards as well. You know the drill with all the stuff you have to do on YouTube, so I'm not going to tell it to you again. If you need a personal reading, that's in the description box below. The only main announcement that I have is the 40,000 subscriber giveaway is fast approaching, so make sure if you haven't subscribed that you do hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on how to be involved and how it's going to run and what's happening. All right, let's get started straight into your past, present, future love reading. So two cards for the past for Taurus, please. I have the difficult to shuffle deck that wants to come out. We're going to let it. Five of cups. Oof, some grief. One more. There we go. Wow. And the eight of pentacles in reverse. Interesting. So this is a situation that didn't work out, that caused you a lot of pain, a lot of heartache, and you've actually taken some time to grieve. Give me the present, two cards for Taurus present in love before I drop all of those. See what I mean about these cards being really difficult to shuffle? They do have good flippers. All right, Perspective. What an interesting card to come out. And the title of that card as well in this deck, Perspective, because I feel like, you, like I said, you've gone through kind of a long grief period and now in your current state you're starting to get some perspective. That is equivalent to the hangman. Um, so seeing things from a new perspective generally is what that means. Six of Wands. Okay, so you're kind of starting to see why things didn't work out in this situation. And you're opening your eyes to realize that it probably wasn't your fault. Let's have a look at two for future, for Taurus, future for April, please. Two cards. Six of Cups. Okay. So the past could be coming back around in April. Taurus, be aware. You might be looking for that. You might be really happy about that. But the fact that you've gained perspective about why it wasn't successful um, is quite telling. And the fact that there's this Seven of Swords in reverse as well tells me that this person um, the person coming back around may have a history of lying, cheating, stealing with you. And they're coming back around that's in reverse. So they may be changing their behavior or telling you that they've changed their behavior or they may be revealing some stuff about their behavior. So we will clarify and get some more information on that. All right, let's go with the five of cups, please. Just one for five of cups. We're not going to spend too much time on that. There it is right there. Love is in reverse. So this is definitely a love situation that we're talking about that you were grieving. Something that didn't work out, wasn't successful. One for the eight of pentacles in reverse. Why did it not work out? Mm. Someone may have been moving too quickly or trying to force the situation too quickly as well. That might have been, or this is sometimes player energy. Okay, so this person may have been a bit of a player and that's why it didn't work out. Give me two for perspective. Yeah, you're starting to see that maybe there was some divine intervention here. <laughs> As part of your grief, this is the second five of cups you've just got in, what, six, five, six, seven, eight, and no, ten cards drawn out of two decks of 78. So, again, these it's never an accident when the cards repeat themselves. Um, you're gaining perspective through this grief process and you're starting to see that there may have actually been some divine intervention protecting you from this situation. It's like when we look back and, and we can see a lot more clearly about why things happen to us in the moment, we think, why is this happening to me? And then when we look back, we go, oh, that's why that had to happen so that I had access to this opportunity or I was saved from that particular situation. Tell me about the Six of Wands, just one. So I think this perspective is going to be, look at this, yeah, you you were 
this caused a major tower, but it was almost like you were saved from this situation, Taurus, big time. And now in April, you're going to need to draw on that learning that you've been going through for the last little bit um, because this person's coming back, but that Seven of Swords is still on the table. I don't care if it's in the upright or not. It's still on the table. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords in reverse. Why is it in reverse, please? Tell me why that Seven of Swords is in reverse. Oh, we're wanting to get two. Oh, someone's coming in to tell you that you're their wish fulfillment. Possibly an Aquarius doesn't have to be, um, but they're going to try and blind you with the light after a period of separation. You two have maybe been in separation for a short period. Yeah, but look at this. The Knight of Cups is in reverse. It's not a true offer. This is not someone coming forward with their cup. And they have the Queen of Swords as well. So... Either this cup is going to be rejected by this queen who holds the sword or it's not a true offer and this is just someone who's coming in still cold-hearted, still just wanting their own way basically, trying to play with your mind. This is thoughts. But with the – the this card is not a good card when it comes to relationships, okay, because in the upright – sorry, Aquarius – because in the upright we're blinded by love. That isn't a good thing. We're not able to see the reality of situations. We make bad decisions when we're blinded by love because we can't see all of the information. We can't see the facts. We can't see true emotion. We can't see anything. We're just blinded by that star. The best way to get this relation, this card in, in love readings is in reverse. So this is why I'm like, mm, this person's going to try and come in and blind you. There may be love bombing going on. Um, they're going to try and just... Yeah, but basically love bomb you and blind you from the truth. Give me two for that Six of Cups. Tell me who this person is. Six of Cups. Possibly Aries or someone who has strong Aries placement. For some of you, it will be um, Aries Sun or Moon or Rising. Possibly a Leo. Um, but you kind of are weak for this person. They also may be playing on your weaknesses as well. They know how to, yeah, they know how to use your weaknesses against you. And that's how they're going to try and blind you. So beware of this person. Look, you've got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse again saying this cycle has the potential to repeat itself if you let it. It is probably karmic. Let's go into Minology, please. Two for Minology for Taurus. Oh, expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. Be bold and make the first move. Okay, interesting. A fiery climax approaches. Mm, okay, so you will apply that how you ever, however you need to, Taurus, but it looks to me like April may see someone coming back. Um, that you spent a lot of time learning from, learning your lessons from, and this might just be a test. In fact, I think it probably is a test. All right, Taurus, don't forget to do all the things we do on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the 40,000 followers or, sorry, 40,000 subscri subscribers giveaway. And if you need a personal reading, down in the description box below is where you'll find that. Have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.